close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath is your own your own possession. Nobody else can watch your breath. You they can watch it from the outside, but they don't know how it feels from the inside. That's something only you can know. So it's your territory. Make the most of it. As I say, it's food for the mind, it's shelter for the mind, medicine for the mind. All in all, it's strength for the mind to have an independent source of well-being inside like this. Because all too often we see in the world, people's, people's well-being depends on other people behaving well. When other people don't behave well, then they take it as their right to behave in an unskillful way in response. And it goes back and forth, back and forth like this. This is what pulls the world down. You read so much in history about one country attacking another because of an insult, and then both sides end up devastated. Who, who was right? Well, who knows? What we do know is they caused a lot of damage. So rather than trying to right wrongs, you might say, well, I'm trying to make sure that my goodness is independent of people's behavior outside. And that way you can establish something new in the world, something independent. Something that doesn't pull the world down, something that actually pulls it back up. Other people may appreciate your goodness, or they may not, but at the very least you're setting a good example. And you yourself are safe in the sense that you know that you're not going to be doing anything unskillful because you've got your source of well-being right here. So try to cultivate this. And in John Lee's image, just like having your own land. And for most of us, we leave the land fallow. We don't plant anything in there. We don't plow it, we don't plant, and as a result we don't get any harvest. And so we go looking for food in other people's property. And if they have good food for us, we like them. If they have bad food, we get upset with them. But if we have our own food, then no matter how good or bad other people's food may be, it's not our business. We have our own source inside. So for the peace of the world, for the well-being of your own mind and heart, try to cultivate this source of well-being inside, the source of strength inside, so that no matter how other people behave, your behavior will always be in line with what the Buddha taught. In other words, honest behavior, good behavior, behavior that doesn't harm anybody, either yourself or other people. That's when you can be said to be truly safe.